You have it? Good. <clears throat> Wait a moment. You did it. Wasn't exactly hard. Okay, so what's the surprise? What do you want in exchange? You have little to offer that to be any use to me. Wait, what? I'm a programmer. In a world of people who only eat shit and sleep. What could you pay me? A pigskin? Five bottles of booze? The surprise is... I did it for your friendship. Oh, well, that is a surprise. I'm honored. I guess. You overcame my traps, defeated my defenses. Let's trust one another, Aiden. That will be my reward. Okay, Kurt. And, uh, thank you. One, success. Kurt fixed the bug. I knew you could handle it. But you totally undersold how unreal this guy is. I told you he was just this side of batshit. That's why I don't like being alone. Don't want that to happen to me. What now? Not over the radio. Coming to my quarters on the ship.
Even one not make one of them dedicated now. Fixed. Shh. Keep it down. Sometimes the walls have ears. Do you know what this is, Aiden? Looks like uh, uh, pellets, buckshot. Oh. <laughs> Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Beluga, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Considered to be the only true caviar in the world. Dissolves on your tongue, letting you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things, beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. They kill for the future and they forget the present. They? 
the major mats of the world. Please, join me. I've taken care of the UV lamps. Has Matt confided to you why he needs lamps in a place with no electricity yet? And how he's going to carry out this suicide mission? That's what I thought. Contact him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Matt, the lamps are ready and waiting for you. Got it, Ada. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Juan said that the TV station has no power. What good are these lamps to us if we can't turn them on? Juan's just fucking around. Don't worry about that. Juan? Nah, he barks a little, but I can handle him. Good approach. Rabbit dogs must be kept at bay. And when they try to bite, put them out of their misery. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. That. As you can see, Jack likes to give orders. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. Wait for my call. Since when are you such a stick in the mud? Until today, I thought our chances against the Renegades were pretty good.
It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. Shh! 
She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Margaret needs to rest. She's running herself into the ground because of those damned renegades. Okay, I understand. But this really is an emergency. Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper! Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well... Perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Blamed again? What do you mean? The last peacekeeper to ask me for help blamed me for his own incompetence. Gave his wounded soldiers the wrong herb. Despite my clear instructions. And several died. Blamed it all on me. I'm only still alive because Jack Matt deigned to be merciful decided it was a tragic accident. He spared my life, but took my eyes. Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night, when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this, I assure you. Hey, Luan, I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. It's a lead. And actually, I'd wait until night. Oh, uh, thanks. Ciao.
knowledge it holds for mankind. Um, I thought this was a puppet show. Fear! Ruth! I told you to never come back! Throw it out! about the pilgrim? Oh, what I say. That's some profile.
alone. Hey, um, what's all this about? We are rehearsing a play, my dear boy. A comedy, to be precise. An art form that has nearly vanished in these dark times. Ah, I see. So did you write this play? <laughs> I wish I did. But no, it's The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. A classic of theatre. Classic? How old is it? Almost half a millennium. That is why we must not forget it. It's a crucial part of our cultural history. Would you care to join our little theater group? Join? No, no. I was just curious. Oh, I love it when you young'uns get curious. Listen, if you want to know more, go find Albert. He's on a mission to collect all the works of classical literature. His endeavors would surely satiate your curiosity. And then some. Sounds interesting. Where can I find him? He set up a modest library in the Peacekeeper's ship, has stockpiled lots of books so far, and he's on a constant search for more. So even if books themselves don't capture your imagination, you can still make a pretty penny there. To the outskirts. Some say the commander is dead. Send me there. eager to punish.